Hey guys, Fukunoro's Maisi here with How To Men. Today I'll be showing off some great Android apps that will give you a little taste of some Android Pie features. I'm not saying that all these apps will deliver the exact Android Pie experience, but they will be very similar. And fair warning, not all of these apps will be bug free. Starting it off with Volume Pie, if the name didn't tip you off, this app will allow you to experience the new volume panel from Android Pie. It will disable your default pop-up and replace it with a much smaller menu that slides out from the right side of the screen. Like on Android Pie, you can quickly switch bringer modes, quickly mute the device by tapping on the icon right below the volume bar, and expand the panel to configure other volume profiles by tapping on the gear icon. It works, but it does have a few bugs for certain devices. For example, on my OnePlus 5T, there is a delay when trying to change the volume level by tapping on the volume rocker, and a few people are complaining that it's crashing on their devices within the Play Store comments. While it could stand some improvement, it still gives you a small approximation of the Android Pie experience. Another big change in Android Pie is the notification drawer and quick settings panel. And with PowerShade, you can have the exact same panel. It even replaces the stock notification drawer on Oreo devices. You can use quick reply, dismiss, news, or open notifications, automatically bundle system notifications, and toggle or customize specific tiles within the quick settings panel. Plus it's very customizable and easy to use, just allow it a couple of system permissions and you're ready to go. Now when it comes to the Pixel Launcher on Android Pie, there are a variety of apps that can replicate it. Two of my favorite are Launcher V2 and Rootless Pixel Launcher. Rootless Pixel Launcher has only just arrived in the Play Store under the name Rootless Launcher. It looks and works just like the launcher found on the Google Pixels, but with two extra features, you can change the overall theme from light to dark, and it supports icon packs. Unlike Rootless Pixel Launcher, Launcher V2 isn't in the Play Store yet, though you can download it over at APK Mirror. It's also still in alpha, so expect bugs. They're worth it though, because the great thing about Launcher V2 is the customization. You can tweak almost everything while still keeping that pixel look. I won't go over every feature, but it supports icon packs. You can change the launcher theme, grid size, dock, app drawer, at a glance widget, and more. I've been using it for a while and it works well. Another awesome Android Pie feature is the new rotation button and you can try it out for yourself with the appropriately named Android P rotation app. Like in Pi, whenever you have auto-rotate disabled and you turn your device to landscape or portrait, a small button will pop up at the bottom to rotate the screen. Sure, it won't appear in the navbar like it does in Android Pi, but it works similarly so you'll get an idea of what it's like. As for Pi's famous gesture navigation, I recommend you check out Navigation Gestures by XDA in the Play Store. It's not a complete duplication of the new navbar in Android Pi, but you can do all the same actions or tweak them a bit if you like. I made the navbar take me to the home screen when I tap it once. Swiping left will go back, swiping right will switch to my previously used app, swiping up will bring up my recents page, long pressing will bring up my Google Assistant, and swiping down will hide the pill. If you want to know a bit more about this app and how to install it, since it does require tools like ADB to set it up, I made a full review of it, you can check it out over at Android Police, so click that eye in the right corner to take a look. Every version of Android comes with a fun easter egg, and if you want to check out the one in Android Pie, then download Android P easter egg in the Play Store. It's a standalone app that will appear in your app drawer and not within your settings, as these easter eggs usually do, but it works and it will let you see Android Pie's trippy patterns for yourself. Lastly, what's the Android Pie experience without some Android Pie wallpapers? I'll include a link to four great Pie inspired wallpapers by Zan Cern. They're really clean, material free and look great on any launcher or smartphone. Either way, those are some of the best apps you can download to get an early glimpse of Android Pie. I know there are a few more options for rooted devices and Samsung flagships, so I'll probably make a part two in the future for even more ways to try out Android Pie features. Thanks for watching, drop a like if you enjoyed, get subscribed for more awesome Android content, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Kapow!